Hello there and welcome back to my channel. This is Donnie from Diamond Painting by Donnie and today I am going to try out a tip that I was told. Um, someone in um, on my channel, one of the viewers, they um, had suggested this tip and whether they were the original person who thought of the tip or if it was somebody else, I'm sorry if I don't give the credit to the right person, but um, I'm going to give it a try. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> what the chip is, is to um, a way to get rid of the sticky around the edges. Now, um, I had washi tape on this. I just finished this one. So I haven't even um, brushed it with the toothbrush and I haven't um, sealed it yet. But um, I had washi tape on it almost the entire time on this side. And on this side, I didn't put any up here and it's just starting to get um, fuzzies in it. If you can see, it's starting to get dirty. And the bottom had a very small area that I didn't put tape on at all. And you can see it's extremely dirty down there. Hairs and just whatever floats around in the air. So I'm going to try this tip out and I think I will start on this side. And what the tip is, is to use baby powder and a Q-tip and rub it on there and it will no longer be sticky. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this last piece of washi tape here and I'm going to zoom you in. So that you can actually see what is happening here. See how close I can get you. Okay. Here we are. All right. I'm going to test this area right here. Okay. It's definitely sticky. And I'm going to just dip the Q-tip in the powder. And we're going to run it along the edge here. Now I might have a little bit too much powder on it, but this is not something you're going to want to do until you at least have a few rows um, pasted in because you look how it's overlapped onto the, the drills and you don't want it. If this does work, you don't want it actually happening on <laughs> your drilling area. So give me one second and I'm going to get my toothbrush. Well, it's not my toothbrush. It is the toothbrush I use for cleaning the, uh, canvases. So I'm going to just brush the, baby powder off I got on the drills here make sure it's all off of there maybe I, I don't know if it would be better to do this after I seal it or before but let's go ahead and just kind of swish it away from the off the I'm in painting here. Okay, so this is where we did it. Let me, there is no stick at all. It's almost as if there was never any adhesive there. It's completely, but my only concern here is that I can still see powder and a hair. I'm wondering if there's some other kind of a brush of some sort that would get it better. Unless I just brush it a little harder. This is a um, soft bristled toothbrush. But I don't even see powder. Oh, there's a tiny bit of powder on the desk. Because it didn't do that much. But. 
I, I'm definitely seeing, oh no, it still sparkles. So that didn't really, it didn't affect the gems. So yeah, it looks like this little tip works. I mean, the reason I want to do this is because I'm going, I don't have a plan for framing this right now. I eventually want to because it's going to go up in Tesla's room. But right now, uh, Stephanie has taken the room over. So she doesn't even have a room right now, basically. Uh, to call her own. So I won't be putting things on the wall until Stephanie moves out whenever that may be. So I'm just trying to kind of get some of these goopers and stuff off, here, off of here. What I'm going to do now is I want to test it on this area that's the with the dirty area to see if it leaves the dirt behind or if it actually will remove the um, the sticky that looks dirty. Getting that little hair off here real quick. My tweezers just don't grasp on to little things like that very well anymore. I think it may be time to replace them. Okay. So here's a section. Let's see right here. I mean, it's not really sticky anymore because it's been exposed this whole time. But let's see if putting some powder on it will make it um, clean. <laughs> I don't have a lot of hope, but this is this will also tell me um, if it's coming off because I can't really tell if it came off on the side there, the powder because the coloring was basically the same color as the uh, powder, but this is green so. It'll tell me if anything is left behind. No, it didn't take away the dirt. I think I'm going to have to... find another... Uh, something else to do for that. And no, the powder, it is seeping in between there. So... I'm thinking that it's best to put something over it because that is not good. There's the powder is in between the drills here. And I'm kind of bending it back to try and clean, get it cleaned underneath there. Kind of get the powder off the toothbrush. Well, I'm glad I did it in just a small spot because that's not too bad. Now, I don't want to pop the drills off either, and I don't want to get the powder onto the adhesive part that is holding the drills on. I've had it where if I press too hard when cleaning this with a toothbrush, Mm, I popped the drills off, so I eh, got to be really careful. Now, I'm, I haven't done the post review on this yet, um, but I will be doing that after this. I just wanted to try this out before that happened, before I went ahead and did that. So, I'm going to pause and put on my thinking cap for a minute and I will be back before you know it. Okay, so here's something I just discovered. Um, I figured out how to make this clean. Uh, I just took an alcohol swab and I pinched my tweezers around it and then wrapped it around. And I hold it like this, and then I'm just rubbing on the edge here. And that's cleaning off all the 
dirt that got stuck in the adhesive and the hairs. It's not so much taking the adhesive off unless you really scrape at it because I touched here and it was sticky again. And so this will work to get the dirt off if that's something you're having an issue with. It's way better than sitting there and plucking every little piece of dirt and hair off with your tweezers one by one because I find found that this works really well. I mean, especially if you go lengthwise here. Let's see, it's cleaning it right up. Finding more and more uses for these alcohol swabs or these uh, alcohol uh, pads. So there, I mean, this was such a small strip, it, it didn't really matter and the reason um, I think, I don't know if I told you, is because I don't have a, anything I'm going to do with it right away. So it's just going to be hanging in my closet. And it's going to be prone to gathering, collecting dust on it and stuff. So I wanted to make it not sticky anymore. So now I'm going to still, I'm still thinking about how to go about protecting this canvas so that I can uh, so that I can put the powder on it because I like that powder idea but I don't like it overlapping into my oh goodness overlapping into my uh, onto the drills because that wasn't really fun trying to clean that up out of there okay this this alcohol swab this thing is getting a little dirty so I'm almost done now get it all the way to the edge nice and clean all right and then I'm just gonna take my toothbrush and get all these loose particles of dirt off I also didn't want to be, um, I didn't want to brush this canvas and have it get into the sticky and get all the dirt that's on and the leftover wax and stuff onto the sticky part. So there we go. Got that hair. So this is uh, good and clean down here, minus the stuff I need to brush off. But the places I pushed a little harder, it's not as sticky, but there is still sticky here, and now it's, it is it is prone to getting dirty again. So let me put my thinking pack, cap back on, and I will be back in a moment to see if I figured anything out or what I figured out. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got an idea. This is that piece of washi tape that I just took off of the side. So I'm going to just place it right there because that, I mean, it doesn't have to cover it all the way, but as long as it's covering the gap, now I'm going to try this baby powder again. This Q-tip got a little bit ragged from rubbing that last one. So I'm going to flip it over here and just dip a little bit in because last time I had quite a bit and I'm going to just rub let me pull it down a little bit so you can see just gonna rub it on here because now that the dirt's gone it should be able to stick to the adhesive and do what it needs to do. I don't think I got enough powder on. There we go. I'll go all the way down to the end where the washi tape stops. Okay. Now I'm going to brush it off. 
And there it comes off the washi tape way easier. No more sticky. And the powder is still on the bottom there, but that was way easier to get off than before. So if you're going to use the baby powder uh, during, before you do your diamond painting, I would probably suggest either keeping your, um, cutting your uh, top coat, the, the, the protective covering, this, the part that looks like this, I would cut it so that it's right up against the edge. And I, I mean, you may not feel comfortable doing it, but I would use my X-Acto knife to do it and just cut right along the edge and then put my powder on before I started drilling. Cause I think that's going to be my best bet instead of having to put washi tape on. But, but then again, you know, I like putting the washi tape on too, but it can be, you know, either way, it's just another, it's an alternative to doing the washi tape. And I found a holy bead. I can't see it now. But anyway, I'm going to seal this. So that's neither near here or there. If you're going to wait until afterwards, like I'm doing, I would, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to seal it. And then, um, after I seal it, I'm going to do the baby powder because after the sealing dries, of course, because at that point, I don't have to worry about it getting down to the adhesive because the glue will have protected it and sealed it all in. So that's um, just basically a little experiment. It's not a uh, tried and true perfect solution, but it was a tip that I was given and I... I think it works really well. I mean, here is not sticky anymore, and I can tell where it's sticky again, where I didn't put the powder. But we can see where the powder got between the rows a little bit. So it's just needs a bit of tweaking, and it will work out great, I think, uh, if that's something that you want to do or try. So... Thank you again for watching, and I appreciate I appreciate those thumbs up. I appreciate the comments. I appreciate the views. So if you like this, um, if you like this, go ahead and let me know if you've tried it or if you plan to do it. And if you do plan to do it, let me know how it works out for you. And that's uh, all I can think of. I was going to do a question of the day, but um, I wasn't prepared for that. So my next video will have a question of the day in it. So be watching for that. So until next time, have fun diamond painting. Bye-bye, guys.